Market participants are riveted to, to painstaking talks in the debt ceiling deal. Investors are unnerved about their lingering standoff while the US government is approaching the deadline. Today, investors will be alert to a speech by Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and the minutes of the Fed's latest policy meeting. These events will act as a market catalyst today. The benchmark stock indexes closed yesterday with a steep losses. A sell-off of risky assets was triggered by the lack of a progress in the debt ceiling talks and expectations of a further monetary tightening. The Dow Jones extended its light and shed another 0.69%. The Nasdaq tumbled by 1.26%. The S&P 500 closed 1.12% down at about 4,145 points. The major stock indexes traded in the red in the New York pre-market. Futures on the stock indexes slipped by 0.2 and 0.27 percent. The S&P 500 is expected to sink to 4,110 and even to 4,070 points in the case of a bad news. A good information background could push the index up to 4,180 points. The market expressed the risk of yesterday due to the lack of progress in the talks. Representatives of the U.S. President Joe Biden and Republicans in the Congress ended another round of the talks with nothing. With the deadline getting closer every day, nothing is becoming an alarming signal. A similar situation has already happened in 2011, but the default was averted with a last-minute agreement. Now, the markets do not believe in the U.S. default. Still, analysts underscore a different macroeconomic background and warn that the looming default might have an unpredictable impact on the economy, even if a deal is settled. Such fundamentals are complemented by hawkish comments from a Fed policymakers James Bullard and Neil Kashkari, who advocated for a further monetary tightening and a rate increase to 6%. All in all, market sentiment was gloomy on Wall Street. As for the economic calendar, the sway by S&P Global showed that the composite PMI improved to a 13 months high in May amid robust expansion in the service sector. This way is the latest proof that the US economy remains resilient in the early second quarter despite mounting recession risks. This is an, an argument for rising interest rates. As for corporate news, Broadcom shares rose by 1.2 percent after the chip maker struck a multi-billion dollar deal with the Apple to use a US-made chips. Apple shares fell by 1.5 percent. Shares of a Zoom video uh, fell by more than 8 percent after the video conferencing platform reported its slowest quarterly revenue growth. Shares of regional lenders extended Monday's gains led by PacWest's 7.9 percent gain. The news on the corporate front was not enough to prop up market optimism. Stocks of the most high-tech giants incurred losses. Stocks of oil companies traded mostly higher. And yields of treasuries with a short maturity carried on with its growth today. Optimism over the debt ceiling agreement is a fading as the two sides are close on a number of issues. But no deal yet. The odds are that the deal could be nailed down this week or at the beginning of the next week. Besides, the Treasury has asked federal agencies if they can defer upcoming payments, and this request worsened the sense of a crisis. Today, after the opening bell, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen will make her comments and her speech in the context of the national debt ceiling is likely to 
overshadowed the publication of the Fed minutes later. At the same time, the minutes could become an additional catalyst for market sentiment. Indeed, the latest statements by the Fed hawks and the upbeat PMEIs indicate the prospects that interest rates could exceed 6%. Some corporate news could encourage stock investors today, and the performance of a chipmaker NVIDIA could support or cook down the hype about um, artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, NVIDIA shares slipped by 1% ahead of its quarterly financing report. Shares of urban uh, outfitters jumped by 11% as the clothing retailer posted upbeat first quarter results, boosted by strong demand and lower inventory levels. The US dollar index rallied to 103.70 earlier today, but pulled back from this level later on. The index settled at 103.5 in the New York market and the intraday character for the instrument is seen between 103.10 and 103.90. The greenback advanced to the highest level in a two months against a basket of its major rivals. Then the pound sterling and the New Zealand dollar came under the spotlight. The sterling slumped to a one month low against the US dollar because inflation in the UK slowed down softer than expected. The Kiwi incurred the harvest losses because the Reserve Bank of New Zealand raised the key interest rate by 25 basis points, as expected to 5.5%, the highest level in more than 14 years. In response, the Kiwi slumped by 1.8% to a three-week low. At the same time, the US dollar owes its strength to the hawkish Federal Reserve and default fears. In this context, the US dollar is likely to extend its advance in the New York trade. The Canadian dollar is losing ground against the firm American rival, having climbed by 0.26%, and the USD card pays are now trading at 1.3540. The instrument is likely to trade in the intraday Canada between 1.35 and 1.3570. Apart from the strong US dollar, the loony is hurt by gloomy financial reports from major banks. Bank of Montreal and Bank of Nova Scotia downgraded profit forecast for their regional branches as lenders saved more funds for emergency needs under economic uncertainty. On the plus side, the Canadian dollar finds support from a rally on the oil market. Oil prices went up after the industry data looked contraction in the US oil inventories and supplies. Brand crude futures rose by 2% to trade at $78.37 per barrel and WTI futures climbed by 2.1%. Oil price was at 1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,1,
Among the measures are the requir requirements for companies to set an exposure limit for retail investors, and besides, crypto platforms must allow retail trading of only highly liquid tokens issued at least one year ago. On a Monday, the International Organization of Securities Commissions also introduced the first global approach to regulator regulating crypto assets. As for Bitcoin intraday outlook, if the token misses the high of 26,700, it will slide to test 26,200. Alternatively, if the price settles at that high, it could rebound to $27,000. And that's all for today. We keep monitoring the financial market situation and wish you a successful trading day ending. Subscribe to the channel and see you online tomorrow.